You're watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network. I'm Nicholas Callis. These are your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Monday, May the 4th, 2020. Starting with this American League East matchup, the Toronto Blue Jays beat the Baltimore Orioles by a score of 5-3. The Orioles got three runs on 11 hits, the Blue Jays five runs on 10 hits. The Orioles scored their final two runs in the ninth inning but couldn't complete the comeback they were attempting. Trent Thornton got the win, Wade LeBlanc got the loss, and Ken Giles now has six saves on the season. The Cleveland Indians beat the Texas Rangers by a score of 6-3. Dominic Leone got the win, Luis Garcia got the loss, and Brad Hand now has 15 saves on the season. That leads all of baseball. Interleague play between the Colorado Rockies and the Detroit Tigers, a battle of two teams toward the bottom of their respective divisions. The Tigers ended up winning this game by two runs. The Rockies were shut out to the ninth inning, scored all three of their runs in the top of the ninth, but failed to make a comeback. Spencer Turnbull got the win, John Gray got the loss, and Jose Cisnero now with one save on the season. An AL West matchup that featured the Seattle Mariners and the Oakland Athletics. The final score of this game was 2-1. Runs came at a premium, though hits did not for the Athletics. The Athletics got eight team hits, but only scored one run in the bottom of the first inning. The Mariners got five hits, but made more of their opportunities, getting two runs, which was enough to win this game. Kikuchi got the win on the mound. Lazardo got the loss. Matt McGill now has 11 saves on the season. The San Francisco Giants beat the, or lost to the Minnesota Twins in this interleague game. The Twins were propelled by a five-run first inning. Michael Pineda got the win. Drew Smiley got the loss. He has yet to get a winning decision this year. And Fernando Romero now with two saves on the season. The Astros and Royals played each other, and offense came aplenty in this one. The Astros, nine runs on 20 hits. The Royals, six runs on 10 hits. Brad Peacock got the win. Stromont got the loss. And Roberto Ozuna now with 10 saves on the season. The Milwaukee Brewers played the Miami Marlins and won 3-2. Alex Claudio got the win. Yamamoto got the loss. And Josh Hader, one of the top save leaders in the American League, or in the National League, he has 13 saves on the season. The Brewers got all three of their runs in the seventh inning. The Marlins scored once in the sixth and once in the seventh, and that was that. The Cincinnati Reds played the New York Mets. This was a battle of two teams toward the bottom of their respective division. The Mets got three runs in three separate innings. The Reds got two runs in the seventh inning, and the Reds lost 3-2. to two. Marcus Stroman, 2-0 two on the season. Jose De Leon got the loss, and Edwin Diaz now with nine saves on the season. The Atlanta Braves and the Philadelphia Phillies played each other in an NL East matchup, and the Phillies came out on top by a score of 3-1. Zach Eflin got the win, Cole Hamels got the loss, and Hector Neris now has nine saves on the season. The Chicago Cubs played the Los Angeles Dodgers in this game. Final score was 2-1 Dodgers. Runs came at a premium. It was a good start by Julio Urias of the Dodgers and Hugh Darvish of the Cubs. They each gave up one run, and the decisions were given to the bullpen. Jimmy Nelson, who came out of the bullpen in a long relief role, got his fifth win of the season. Ryan Tepera gave up the go-ahead run in the seventh. He got hit with the loss, and Kenley Jansen now has 12 saves on the season. And the San Diego Padres played the St. Louis Cardinals, and the Cardinals won by three runs. The Padres struck first in the second, but then the Cardinals put up four runs in the fourth inning, and nobody scored after that. Jack Flaherty got the win, Joey Lucchese got the loss, and Giovanni Gallegos, one of the save leaders in the National League, he has 12 saves on the season. In standings time now, starting in the American League East, the New York Yankees are 22-13. They still lead the division, though they didn't play today. The Baltimore Orioles lost to the Toronto Blue Jays today. They're 20-15 now, two games back of the division. The Tampa Bay Rays are 19-17. They're three and a half games back of the division. The Toronto Blue Jays beat the Orioles today. They're 16 and 19 now, and they're six games back of the division. And the Boston Red Sox, 14 and 22, eight and a half games back, and they're in last place. In the American League Central, the Chicago White Sox still lead. They're 22 and 12. The Cleveland Indians are 21 and 16. They're two and a half games back of the division. They're on a four-game winning streak as well. The Minnesota Twins are also two and a half games back of the division. They are 20 and 15. 
The Detroit Tigers are 13 and 22. They're nine and a half games back in the division, but they're on a seven game winning streak and they've won seven of their last 10 games. And the Kansas City Royals cannot seem to catch a break. They have lost 16 straight games. And they are 13 and a half games back of the division lead with a nine and 26 record. In the American League West, the Oakland Athletics are 21 and 16. They lost today, but they still lead the division by one game. The Astros, the next to trail for the division lead, they're 19 and 16. They're on a three game winning streak right now. The Los Angeles Angels are 15 and 18. They're four games back of the division. The Seattle Mariners won today. They're 16 and 21. They're five games back of the division. And the Texas Rangers are on a five-game losing streak now. They are 14 and 20, five and a half games back, and they're in last place in this division. In the National League East, the Washington Nationals are 22 and 11. They still lead this division. They're trailed by the Marlins, who are 19 and 16, four games back of the division. The Philadelphia Phillies are 18 and 17. They're five games back of the division on a two-game winning streak now. The Atlanta Braves on a two-game losing streak. They're 17 and 20, seven games back in the division. And the New York Mets won today. They're on a two-game winning streak. They're 15 and 20, eight games back in the division. In the National League Central, the Milwaukee Brewers are 20 and 15. They lead this division now, and they're on a three-game winning streak. The Chicago Cubs lost to the Los Angeles Dodgers today. They're two and a half games back in the division now. Tied with the Cardinals for second place, who are also 18 and 18 after beating the Padres today. The Pittsburgh Pirates are 14 and 20. They're five and a half games back. And the Cincinnati Reds are in last place in this division. 13 and 21 is their record, and they're six and a half games back. In the National League West, the San Diego Padres are 23 and 12. They lead this division, though they lost today to the Cardinals. The Dodgers, who beat the Cubs today, are 22 and 12, and they're now a half game back of the division. The San Francisco Giants are 17 and 18. They're six games back of the division. Trailed by a half game by the Arizona Diamondbacks, who are 16 and 18. And the Colorado Rockies have lost two straight now. They are 12 and 21, and they are 10 games back of the division, still in last place. And now it's time for league leaders, starting with American League batting average leaders. Chris Davis still tops this category with a 387 batting average. Miguel Cabrera kind of snuck up out of nowhere. He's at a 385 batting average, good for second best in the American League. And DJ LeMahieu, with some insignificant figures that are beyond the 385, is slightly below Miguel Cabrera, but he's good for third best in the American League. And then Jose Abreu, the only other hitter with a, an above 380 batting average, he has a 384 average, good enough for fourth best in the American League. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. is still leading the batting average category with a 374 batting average. Uh, he is still the leader, though he's on a decline now uh, from where he was when this month began. Jonathan VR, 358 batting average. He's in second place. And Paul Goldschmidt, the only other hitter with a 350 or more average. And he is third best in the National League. American League hits leaders, Jose Abreu, still leading this category with 56 hits. DJ LeMayhew and Chris Davis, each with 55, tied for second best. And Miguel Cabrera and Miguel Andujar tied for fourth best with 52 hits. In the National League, Jonathan Villar, the only National League player with over 50 hits, he has 53. Ronald Acuna Jr. with 49. And Paul Goldschmidt rounds out the top three with 48. At bat leaders in the American League, Marcus Semien has come to take the lead in this category. J.D. Martinez was the previous leader, but for the first time since we've been tracking these, there is a new leader. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has, a, uh, has 148 at-bats. That's good for best in the National League. He's trailed closely by Ozzy Alves, who has 147 at-bats. Doubles leaders in the American League, Miguel Andujar has 15. He's tied with Jose Iglesias. Marcus Semien has 14, and that rounds out the top three. In the National League, doubles leaders see Jonathan Villar at the top with 17. Christian Yelich and Trey Turner each tied for second best with 13, and Cattell Marte has 12. Triples leaders in the American League, Jose Altuve still has four. He still leads this category. In the National League, Jonathan Villar has upped his total to five, and that leads all National League players. Home run leaders in the American League, uh, Chris Davis 
still at the top of this category. He has 18. Josh Donaldson has found his way into the top three now. He has 14 total on the season. And Lourdes Gurriel Jr. and Matt Olson each tied for third best with 13. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. has 14 home runs leading this category. He is trailed by Paul Goldschmidt with 13, Max Muncy who has 12, and Corey Seager who has 10. RBI leaders in the American League, Lourdes Gurriel Jr. on the brink of 40. He has 39, trailed closely by Chris Davis who has 38. And then Jose Abreu and DJ LeMahieu each tied for third best with 36. In the National League, Paul Goldschmidt has 36. He's the only National League player with over 30 RBIs. That's good for best in the league. Bryce Harper and Cody Bellinger tied for second best with 27. And there's a long tie for third best. All those players you see under the four slot have 26. Runs leaders in the American League, Chris Davis, Jose Abreu tied for the league best with 31. Yohan Mankata, the only player with 30 or more. He has 30, and that's good for third best. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., the only National League player with over 30 runs scored this season. He's trailed by Jonathan VR, Paul Goldschmidt, and Trey Turner, who all have 28, tied for second best in the league. Stolen base leaders. This category still belongs to Adalberto Mondesi, who has nine. Malik Smith and Mike Trout behind him with seven. In the National League, Starling Marte still leads this category with 12. Trey Turner, the only other National League player with double-digit stolen bases. He has 10. Walk leaders in the American League. There's a four-way tie for first. Jordan Alvarez, Robbie Grossman, Mike Trout, and Shinsu Chu all have 22. In the National League, Reese Hoskins still leading this category. He's up to 28 now. And the next best in the league is Freddie Freeman, Brandon Belt, and Daniel Descalzo. They all have 23. They're tied for second best. On base percentage leaders, Mike Trout, 460 on base percentage. That leads all American League players. Chris Davis with a 453. And DJ LeMay, who rounds out the top three with a 452. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., a 461 on base percentage, and it's not close. Paul Goldschmidt, next best with 436. And Dansby Swanson has a 424. Slugging percentage leaders in the American League. Chris Davis, still the only one slugging over 800. He has an 831 slugging percentage. He's trailed by Mike Trout and Josh Donaldson. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., still the only National League player above an 800 slugging percentage. Paul Goldschmidt has a 728, good for second best. And Christian Yelich, still on the brink of 700. He's at 696 right now. On base percentage plus slugging percentage among American League players. Chris Davis leads this category with a 1.284. He's trailed by Mike Trout and Josh Donaldson. In the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr. tops the OPS leaders. Paul Goldschmidt second best, Christian Yelich third best. Pitcher statistics now, starting with win leaders in the American League. Asher Wojciechowski, Lucas Giolito, and Jalen Beeks all tied for the most with five. In the National League, Denelson Lamont, Jimmy Nelson, who's a relief pitcher, a long relief pitcher with the Dodgers, Jack Flaherty, Walker Bueller, and Pablo Lopez have a five-way tie for the most with five. Losses leaders in the American League. Those pitchers are just the ones that don't have a loss yet or still undefeated. Dylan Bundy, Tyler Glasnow, Asher Wojciechowski, Ronaldo Lopez, and Kenta Maeda are all undefeated. Among American League pitchers, now in the National League, Caleb Smith, Trevor Bauer, Walker Bueller, Kevin Gosman, and Nelson Lamont all also are undefeated. They don't have a loss yet. Saves leaders among American League pitchers, and this man you see right there leads all of baseball in saves right now. He has 15. He's trailed by Liam Hendricks, who has three less with 12. Michael Givens, Nick Anderson, and Matt McGill all tied for third best with 11. And Roberto Ozuna, Joe Jimenez, and Brandon Workman all round out those with double-digit save totals this year. They all have 10. In the National League, Josh Hader leads National League pitchers in saves with 13. And then there's a pretty long list of those with 12. Craig Kimbrell, Sean Doolittle, Giovanni Gallegos, Kenley Jansen, and Kirby Yates all have 12. That's good for second best in the league. And Keone Kella is the only other pitcher with 10 or more saves. And he's right at 10. Earned run average leaders, Tyler Glass now still leading this category with a 1.96, the only American League pitcher with an ERA under two. 
In the National League, Trevor Bauer has reached an ERA under one. He has a .96 ERA that leads all of baseball right now. Walker Bueller, Caleb Smith, and Mike Soroka are still pitchers with an under two ERA in the National League. Least amount of home runs allowed among American League pitchers. John Means, Gio Gonzalez, Frankie Montas, and Brandon Bailey are all tied for the league best with two. In the National League, there are still some pitchers that have let up just one home run this season, and that honor belongs to Caleb Smith and Garrett Richards. Shutouts among American League pitchers, Garrett Cole, Masahiro Tanaka still on this list with two, and they still lead this list with two. In the National League, Walker Bueller and Zach Wheeler each have two, and they still lead this list. These three have been on the list as well for the last week or so. They still all have one. Nobody else in the National League or in uh, any other part of baseball has any shutouts. Strikeout leaders in the American League. Carlos Carrasco with 59 leads the American League. Lucas Giolito and Garrett Cole each have 57, and they're tied for second best among American League pitchers. In the National League, Hugh Darvish surpasses Chris Archer for the lead in the National League after his start today with the Cubs. He has 63 strikeouts now. He had an eight strikeout performance against the Dodgers. Chris Archer, 62 strikeouts. That's good for second best in the league. Uh, and then Chris Ar- uh, Clayton Kershaw, excuse me, is at 61. He's the only other pitcher in the National League, and in all of baseball for that matter, with 60 or more strikeouts this season. Complete games among American League pitchers. Garrett Cole, Monsiero, Tanaka is still at the top in the National League. Zach Wheeler and Walker Bueller are still at the top, and the rest of those names have won. Innings pitched leaders, Shane Bieber is still above 50. He's at 52 and a third innings pitch this season. And in the National League, Johnny Cueto and Hugh Darvish now tied for the league best with 50 and two-thirds innings pitched this season. Walks allowed among American League pitchers. It's no longer five as Carlos Carrasco walked a couple of batters. He's at seven now, and there's a three-way tie for the least in the American League. It belongs to Jay Happ, Carlos Carrasco, and Yvonne Nova. In the National League, Madison Baumgartner is still at four, and he has the least amount of walks among all pitchers in baseball. Chris Paddock, the next person in the National League, with eight. Whip among American League pitchers. Zach Plezak under one, the only one under one in the American League. In the National League, three pitchers have an under one whip. Walker Bueller, Pablo Lopez, and Mike Soroka. Pitching war, Charlie Morton at the top with a 1.3 pitching war. Uh, also with a 1.3 is Carlos Carrasco and Shane Bieber. In the National League, Hugh Darvish and Chris Archer now toward the top of this list with a 1.5. Walker Bueller, Caleb Smith, and Steven Strasburg have a 1.3. Batting war among American League players. Chris Davis still making himself a valuable player this season after hitting for both average and power to start the year. He's at a 2.8. He's close with Mike Trout, who also has a 2.8. DJ LeMayhew, third best in the American League with a 2.7. And in the National League, Ronald Acuna Jr., still the only player in baseball, for that matter, with a with a war over three. Jonathan VR has a 2.7. That's good for second best in the league. And Christian Yelich had a 2.3. Good for third best. These have been your game recaps, standing updates, and league leaders from Monday, May the 4th, 2020. I'm Nicholas Kellis. You've been watching Major League Baseball's Virtual Network.